Okay, let's look at a doubly linked list. So a doubly linked list has additional data in the node. It also is going to contain a pointer to the previous node. So if you look at the node uh, struct definition up here, we can see we have a field for the integer, and then we'll have a previous pointer, and then a next pointer. And we're also going to include um, another pointer of type node to um, hold the address of the last node in the list. That way we can traverse the list either forwards or backwards. And um, I just drew out a quick picture of a linked list that contains the values 3, 5, and 2. So you can see head is um, pointing to the first node and then tail is pointing to the last node and 3 is pointing to 5 in its next um, field and then 5 is pointing to 2 and then 2's next would be set to null right because it's the end of the list it's not pointing to anything and then the previous uh, pointers will work like this so 3 isn't um, doesn't have a previous right it's at the beginning of the list so we will set that to null and then 5's previous will contain the address to the 3 node and then 2's previous will contain the address to the 5 node. So that is the structure of what the doubly linked list will look like. So let's say we want to add the number 5 as the first node in our list. So the list is empty and we know that it's empty because we have set head to null and tail is also set to null. You can see on line 7 and 8 I initialize those to null. So when we hop in add to the beginning if the head is null we know that the list is empty and we're just going to add the node and update head and tail. So when I jump into the function I'll create a new node with the number 5 and I'll initialize previous and next to null and then I'll set head to point to this new node and I'll set tail to point to the new node and then I'm done so I'm just going to return I don't need to do anything else I've added the node it there it it now has one um, node in the list, so I'm done. This is what our one node link list looks like. We have one node that contains the integer 5. Its previous is null. It's not pointing to any previous node. Its next is null. There isn't a node after this node. Tail is pointing to this node, and head is pointing to this node. And now we're ready to add another integer to the list, to the beginning of the list. And let's say that we want to add the number 7. So we hop in to add to beginning and we check head. Head is not null, so we know that there are other elements in the list. Um, we will create a new element with the number 7. Its previous will be set to null because it will become the new beginning of the list. It won't have a previous. So now we have to update this new node's next pointer, and then we have to update five's previous pointer to point to the seven. So we're not gonna change head until after we're done moving pointers around. Um, we'll set new node's next to head, right, because head contains the pointer to 5 so we'll set new nodes next to the node containing 5 and then we're going to set heads previous which is right here heads previous we're going to set that to new node okay we're not going to update heads next it's still at the end of the list we don't need to do anything with tail because tail will still contain the pointer to 5, but now we're ready to update head so that head points to 7. And that is our updated list. That is the algorithm that you're going to be using in the function add to the beginning.